Hello everyone and welcome to Lord of Tech once again. So these earbuds were recently sent out to me by a company called Nika and this is called the Nika Lite Pro. At the back of the box you will find some information that it comes with a Bluetooth 5.0, it supports Aptex, it comes with 13mm drivers and also these are extremely lightweight. From the box packaging you can figure out already that it's a very fancy package and the front of the box says that it's a best gift and I believe that it's a perfect gift material. So you can slide out the earbuds from the box and when you will open the case you will find your earbuds resting exactly at the center along with an accessory box so overall the packaging is quite neat and clean the accessory box contains some usual stuff like first of all you will find a normal usb to a type c cable for charging and also you will get a user manual which i highly recommend to go through at least once so that you understand all the features and now let's talk about the earbuds so starting off with the design and build quality, the case is made out of plastic and it's a perfect round shaped case which is very ergonomically designed and it gives you a very satisfying feeling when you actually hold it in your fist. Apart from that, the case is made out of a very good quality plastic and also it's available in white color. So the one that was sent to me is black color and has a glossy finish to it and there is one more variant that comes in white color. Apart from that, if you open the case, you will find a silver lining that goes around. And also if I talk about the hinge, so it's not a self-closing one, neither it's spring tensioned. But if you'll give a small push to the case, it's going to close automatically. So in order to take out the earbuds, you have to open the case completely. Apart from that, you have been provided with a type C port at the bottom through which you can charge the case. And I really like the attention to detail, especially that silver ring that goes around the type C port so that your case doesn't get scratched up. And on the front, you will also find this LED which lights up in different colors and shows you the battery percentage. So overall, a very nice design and build quality. When you will take out these earbuds from the case, you will notice that the design of the earbuds is actually inspired by the Apple earpods, the original Apple earpods. And these earbuds does not come with any sort of silicone ear tips. So first of all, this particular design is called the half in ear type earbuds and they are meant to give you a very comfort fit and it's highly recommended for those people whose ears are very sensitive and they don't want anything to go inside their ear canal. Now this particular design has its own pros and cons which we will discuss in the later part of the video. If we talk about the specifications on paper, so these earbuds come with a Qualcomm 3040 chip inside which consumes very less power. So the battery on the case is around 28 hours and that on the earbuds is around 7 hours. So you can charge these earbuds 3 to 4 times in the case and the total charging time is somewhere around 2 hours. Apart from that, these earbuds are also IPX5 water resistant and each earbud has two microphones for better environment noise cancellation. Something that I really liked about these and that actually surprised me was the blazing fast connectivity speed. So as you can see already from this particular clip, I'm not fast forwarding it anytime that first of all, disconnecting the uh, earbuds actually takes a couple of seconds from your phone. But once it's disconnected and as soon as you open the case, you won't be able to take out the earbuds from the case, but it's going to connect very fast with your phone. See how fast it is. If you are in any music player application, then you can single click the left earbud to bring up the volume slider and then you can keep on tapping to lower the volume. Similarly, you can keep on tapping the right earbud to increase the volume. What I really like was the kind of touch sensitivity and how responsive are these earbuds. If you want to play and pause a song, you can double tap the left or the right earbud. Then if you triple tap the left one, you can bring up the voice assistant. And if you triple tap the right one, you can actually enter in the gaming mode, which unfortunately I was not able to. Apart from all this, you can uh, press the left earbud for one second to go to the previous track. And you can press the right earbud for one second to go to the next track. These earbuds also have a low latency mode called the gaming mode. So you can enter the gaming mode by pressing the right earbud three times and it will say go, 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 which means you have entered the gaming mode. So before moving ahead, I first of all want to tell you that Nika has two models of these earbuds. One is the Nika Lite and the other one is the Nika Lite Pro. And Nika Lite comes with Bluetooth 5.0 while Nika Lite Pro comes with Bluetooth 5.2. Now, if you will place the order for the Nika Lite Pro, so on the box, it's written Bluetooth 5.0. I hope you can see that. So on the box, it is written Bluetooth 5.0 and confirm the same from their sales team. They told me that it's a printing mistake. And one of the biggest feature of Bluetooth 5.2 is that it has a connectivity range of around 20 meters. So I actually tested this particular range. I kept my phone, I stepped away from it and I was able to get a fairly good reception at around 18 and 90 meters. And at 20 meters, I noticed some sort of drop in the signal. So what they're claiming about the 20 meters range is very true first of all so don't get confused that you are getting bluetooth 5.0 instead of bluetooth 5.2 the next important thing is the quality of microphone so first of all each earbud has two microphones one for listening to the noise from the environment and other for listening to your audio so which actually separate uh, subtracts environmental noise from your audio so that you the a very neat and clean 
audio gets delivered to the person on the other side. So this is the kind of audio quality that you will be getting from this particular microphone. I guess the audio is pretty much loud and it is definitely better from the other TWS which I have reviewed in the price range of around 2000 rupees. Do let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. The next important thing is the audio quality. So first of all, I want to tell you that these earbuds are not for audio files. It is not for those people who, are, who have a specific requirement like you're looking for a good bass or you want treble and don't compare them with Sony EX255 or Sennheiser or KZ. There is no point of making all those comparisons because I, uh, I felt that these earbuds are more for casual listening and for more general use where you are looking for features which works at, as intended. Like first of all, the touch controls are too good. The connectivity is very fast and I look upon these as an alternative to the Apple AirPods. So Apple AirPods, I think, are somewhere priced at around uh, $130 and you're getting these at half the price just at $59 and also if you are uh, if you are willing to purchase these, you can use a discount code which is given in the description and you can get a flat 16% discount on all the products. Now, even after getting the discount, a lot of you might say that these are still expensive and they don't have even active noise cancellation, which are available in some of the other earbuds at this particular price. So I want to tell you that first of all, these are half in ear type earbuds and there was no point of implementing the active noise cancellation because you are not getting a good seal. So they actually resting on the outer part of the ear. So this is what it is. Now coming on to the audio quality, I first of all felt that uh, these are not uh, too much on a bass side, neither these are too much on the tribal side. Everything is fairly balanced. Nothing is too much pushed up or nothing is too much amplified. Apart from that, I just felt that uh, the overall audio volume was slightly low. Maybe I'm like coming from very uh, high volume earphones, which I'm reviewing, um, which I've reviewed in the past. So from that perspective, I just felt that the volume was a little bit low and it should have been a little bit high. One of the most important thing is that a couple of you, uh, like one of you actually messaged me a couple of days back on Instagram and you asked me that you wanted an earbud for your wife and she is very much uncomfortable by with all those silicone ear tips like earbuds that go deep in your ear canal so i told you that this was the kind of alternative that you can go for so these are special uh, like for those people who don't want your earphones or earbuds to go in your ear canal if you want something that rests on your outer part of your ear then this is the one that you can go for the next important thing is that after wearing them like for 20 or 30 minutes you tend to forget that there is something in your ear so these are extremely lightweight they weigh somewhere around 3.8 to 4 grams so this is what it is thank you so much for watching make sure you use the discount code in the description box to get a flat 16 percent discount if you are interested in buying them and thank you nike also for sending me this product so make sure to subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one take care yes,